Hey YouTube, Scrubwork here and thanks for joining me back for another video here on the channel. Today's video I'm going to be showing those people who have a gaming PC and an Xbox but can't afford right now to go get a capture card. I'm going to show you guys how to stream on Streamlabs OBS without having a capture card with just your gaming PC and your Xbox hooked up to the same network. The first thing you're going to want to download is the Xbox Console Companion. After you get that, it should look like this once you sign in, and you're gonna sign in with the account that you're gonna be wanting to use that you're gonna be playing video games with. Because this is gonna be um, what you're gonna be seeing and how you're gonna broadcast it to your OBS. So the next thing you're gonna do is, you're gonna go ahead and head down here to the Connections tab. You click the Connections tab, it's gonna bring you to this. If your console isn't set up on the same network, it'll let you know here that there was no Xbox found. Once you get your Xbox on the same thing through Ethernet, because that's what I advise you guys to do is use Ethernet for both the computer and the console, it'll pop up here like mine is, and you can click connect. Once you click connect, it connects your Xbox that you're gonna be playing on to your computer. So you're gonna go ahead and click stream. Once you click stream, it's gonna open up this here. And then it's gonna basically this is going to pop up. It's going to say there are no controllers attached to this PC. Attach one to either the PC or to the Xbox. If you do already have one attached like I do here, I have one already with my Xbox. You're going to go ahead and click continue. After you do that, um, this is just a display capture. You're not going to want to use a display capture. I'll show you the best way that you guys can do this to get the best quality out of it. Okay, we should be good to go now. I already have a scene created here because you have to have a scene um, in here. Just I just named it tutorial. You can name it stream or whatever you want to be able to add your graphics. Your Xbox console companion is over on your other monitor. Or if you're just using a one monitor setup, I'll kind of show you guys how to do that too. I'll kind of explain it. So first thing first, you're going to go over here to your sources and we're going to be adding a game capture. If you click this, it says built, uh, built in works with the most modern computer games. This is kind of like we're going to be using a computer game and this is how you can record games on your PC too. But that's for another video. I'm going to just add this source. You can name it whatever you want. You can name it game. You're going to add that in. It's going to go to auto right when you first start. So it's going to say looking, looking for a game to capture. You're going to want to switch that auto to capture specific window. After you do that, you're going to go down to window and you're going to look for your Xbox console companion. You're going to click that console companion and by default, it already sets this to here. So you're going to want to force scaling and you're going to set it to 1280 by 720. That's normally, I think the only option it gives you, which is the best you can do for this setup. Um, that's why I always advise getting a capture card in the future. But if you can't afford one right now, this is basically your best alternative. So you're gonna go ahead and click done after that. And you're gonna come up here, you're gonna right click, transform and fit to screen. So I'm opening up everything and you could honestly play your Xbox on your computer if you wanted to. There's uh, maybe just a millisecond of lag. There's no, no huge issues there. I, I haven't found any issues with testing this. I use a capture card, so I don't stream with this. Um, and also you guys could even set up borders here to hide the black bars. I haven't found a way to get rid of all the black bars completely. I'm just going to kind of jump into a game here. I'm going to show you guys that it does capture over. Um, and you can do this to either record gameplays. You can do live streams. I always like to lock these just so I have them in place where I can't move this. You can then add in your webcam. You can add in any overlays and graphics that you guys choose to. And your stream should be good to go. But like I said, I do recommend that you guys do get an Elgato capture card, whether that being just the regular HD or the HD60 or HD60S, or even if you can afford the 4K one that just came out. I recommend you guys getting a capture card just to improve the quality of your stream. Um, so basically, this is good for people who are just starting out who don't want to go spend a lot of money on a capture card. Um, and th this, this is just a good way to get in to see if you're going to want to be streaming, especially if you're new to streaming. I don't recommend getting a whole lot of equipment right up front. You're going to want to get some basic stuff, make sure that you can build a community and then you can grow your streams from there. 
But if you guys have any other questions about this, please leave them down in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you guys come up with. And also down in the comments, let me know any future videos you guys would like to see. I kind of want to start uploading some streaming helping videos here on the channel. I want to show you guys little basic tips that can make your stream look even better. And also I might even be posting some free graphics for you guys. So if you guys did enjoy the video, a like rating is always appreciated and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.